Central Wyoming College's origins are born of a desire to value diversity and enhance the quality of life through excellence in education. This year marks CWC's 50th anniversary in helping students prepare for their future. It's hard to believe that the land that now makes up the core of Central Wyoming College was homesteaded in 1906 by George Dobler. He often referred to his land as a knowledge shop. And now, 110 years later, it truly is a knowledge shop. George Dobler would only pay $1.25 an acre, plus a $90 filing fee for his land. A few years later, in order to grow his family, Dobler would sell his land and build a four-bedroom house. There, he and his wife Grace had twin daughters, Hulda Virginia and Lavinia Grace, the first twins to be born in then four-year-old town of Riverton. Lavinia, after being away from Riverton for 31 years, would come back and stand on her parents' homestead. Bob Peck, the first trustees board president, and Dr. Walter Palmberg, the first CWC president, would walk with her and give her a tour of where they planned to construct the new buildings. When asked about that first tour 30 years later, she said, I still remember looking at the Owl Creeks on the north, south to Beaver Hill, west to the Wind Rivers, and towards South Pass at the tip of the Wind River Mountains. I could see it all from that land. It was the most thrilling place in the world. She knew in that instant what caused her father to pick that land for his homestead 50 years earlier. She would tell Peck and Dr. Palmberg on that walk that she wanted to be CWC's first patron and donate $25,000. She remembered Peck would look at her and ask, can you afford it? The two college fathers didn't know that the $25,000 she would donate was set aside for her retirement. She would end up giving $25,000 in company stock that now makes up the CWC Foundation and has since more than doubled in value. Later that year in 1966, George Dobler's dream of a knowledge shop was about to become reality. Fifty years later, CWC offers over 50 degree choices. When these buildings started, I mean, there was one little house on the prairie, so to speak. And now look at our campus. It's beautiful. It's a showpiece. A lot of businesses downtown say this is the jewel in the ground, so to speak. What I like about the facilities is not just growth for growth's sake, growth because students needed it. Students needed more housing. Students needed a health science center. Our Native American population needed the Intertribal Center. We have responded to students' needs. That, to me, is really core. And that's one value that has not changed since I started here. Faculty like students and are there to serve them. It is also proud to be the second smallest community college in the state and still currently and consistently have the most ethnically diverse campus of all other community colleges in Wyoming. With over 25% non-white students, Central has more than double American Indian students than any other two-year institution in the state. In the past 50 years, over 7,000 degrees have been awarded. Students choose Central Wyoming College because they also share the ideal of a rich social fabric woven together with strands from different race, color, and origin. CWC is an intricate web of intricate thinkers and doers. The intimacy of the linkage is what creates the multifaceted face of this college. Starting with Bob Peck, the Dobler family, and flowing through their history, their humanity, is what connects them.